I wanted to make a fabulous innovation platform here. And then the software took off, and I forget about semiconductor. <laughs> but now you're on the uh, front and center of everything that is happening. Yep. And about three years ago, you guys announced IDM 2.0. Can you please tell us a little bit about how that came about and what it means for Intel and for the U.S. Chip Act? Yeah, it, it's a, it's such a such an important question, folks. And if you look back at the last, you know, 40 years, right? You know, what you see around us today with everything moving to computing. Anybody thinks that the world is not moving more and more digital and computing? No, the world is absolutely moving, even at a faster pace. All of that needs semiconductors, right? Just as you mentioned in your opening comments. And where was that semiconductor born? Right here in Silicon Valley. And that innovation started right here within a you know, few miles around us. Now, that innovation actually moved with the, what's called Moore's Law, right? The number of transistors on a chip doubles every couple of years. And that trend has continued. It's unstoppable. It's just going to keep continuing. But what had also happened over this last 30 years is where this technology, this innovation was born here, started to disseminate away. The manufacturing, the R&D, all of these enabling capabilities started to go outside of US. And why is that? And we can spend a lot of time on that, but at the heart of it is you know, the policies were just not you know, uh, uh, inclusive and supportive of what it takes to drive this economy forward. Where did they end up? They end up in Asia and in this little island called Taiwan, right? So this became a big problem when it came to supply chain, when it came to basically many big companies that also went to fabless, right? They don't produce their own chips. They need to depend on somebody else to build their chips. So this is where, you know, when um, our new CEO, Pat Gelsinger, came on board, um, we really, um, you know, uh, shifted the strategy for Intel to drive what we call IDM 2.0. IDM integrated device manufacturing, it's you, you essentially build everything from A to Z. And today, large market segment shares in you know, data centers and PCs. Now, with IDM 2.0, it's not just ba building those chips that go into PCs, it's also enabling foundry. This became so critical for the supply chain all around the world, and especially governments around the world view this so critical for their national security. This is why policies such as CHIPS Act to really drive not just manufacturing, but also the innovation that's required to continue to drive and thrive this economy forward was critical, critically important. So AI is gonna be integral part of all aspects of this ecosystem. You think about what it takes to basically make these chips, which ultimately goes to power the computing, like I talked about. It starts with the design, and, and it's uh, even before that is really the research and the pathfinding. That's where you talk about computer architecture. To have that computer architecture, you need to really build the transistors, and that's where the process technology comes in. You build that process technology, you have to use these tools called EDA tools, with the, you know, the synopsis and cadence of the world, right? And then from there, you go manufacture these products into a fabrication facility. So you gotta get the first chips out, and then you gotta get this part all the way out to qualification. This, this duration can be up to like three years right? by the time you start the idea to the time you actually have a chip working for you. And AI is a tool that's just a gift given to us. You don't wanna just do the AI for the sake of AI, but this is a tool given to us that it takes out a lot of inefficiencies. It's imagine that you have, you know, apply these you know, LLM models to drive the faster learning in this development process. Because ultimately, you're continuing to push the innovation. You know, it doesn't matter which, which technology company, if, if you do not thrive to continuously improve 
and drive the next capability, you're out. It's, you have seen so many companies. They get wiped out. So the m faster you can learn and the more you can do with that learning, that's the name of the game. And AI is a great tool that you either embrace it or you get disrupted.